In the world of Kali martial arts, we're often training with sticks and swords and knives and all kinds of different weaponry. That one of the most common questions that I get is, hey Paul, when do we get to the empty hand stuff? There's a secret that when you're training with the weapons, you're actually training and developing your empty hand skills. You just have to understand the transference of skill. It takes a little bit of ingenuity. In my own personal belief, ingenuity is the most important thing, the most important quality that a Kali practitioner can develop. So today, let's take a little look at exactly how this transference of skill from this goes to this. Let's work a couple of drills today. We're gonna work a couple of basic single stick drills. We'll work a couple basic double stick drills. And then we're gonna work those drills to the transference of skill into the empty hands. Our first drill is our full angle one and angle two, just like this. So we have these full cuts that go all the way through across the body. Just like this. Yep. Work that on the right hand and also work this on the left hand. That way we're developing the coordination on both sides of the body, which is important because there's two hands. The second drill, we call this our V-strike. I want us to work a hack on the angle one and then pull this back to the two, and then hack on the two, and then pull it over to the one. So this creates like a V. Just like this. Yep, you could also work this on the left hand as well. Make sure you get those reps in. Okay, that's our single stick drills. All right, grab two sticks now, and let's take a look at a quick double stick drill that we can work. From here, we're gonna alternate our strikes. We're gonna strike our number two, followed up by a number one, and then a number two, and a number one, just like this. All right, we can also, if we want to, kind of like a bonus, is that we can still work these V strikes just like this. On the double weapons. We can also work them in this motion as well, where now we have six strikes. Give you a couple little bonuses that you can start to play with. Use your ingenuity to play with it once we're done going through this lesson together. All right, let's go ahead and put the sticks down for a moment. In the empty hands of Kali, there's two methods of striking with the empty hands. We have the open hand method, which is like our slaps and our hacks, and we have the closed fist method, which is our hammer fists and the more familiar punching. In Kali, there's principles for both of these, but for right now, I want you just to choose the one that you feel better using. Whether it's the open hand striking method of the slap and the hack, or the closed fist striking method where we're gonna be using the hammer fists. And we're gonna be doing the exact same movements with our empty hands that we just got done drilling out with the sticks. So in our first one, I'm gonna go ahead and use the hammer fists. We have our one and two, just like this. Okay, we can work the other side. We also have the second drill, that V strike. And we can work that other side. 
Now this can come out of my lead hand. This can come out of my rear hand. As we're gonna be learning from the double stick drill. One, two, one, two. I can go all the way with big strikes, putting more power into those strikes, or I can utilize the V striking method if I need more speed into those strikes. We can switch at any point that we need to from speed and power, power back to speed. So just as the weapon can be used for the offensive attacks. The empty hands can also be used in those offensive attacks. Just like that. Or if we needed to utilize that speed, then we can go ahead and go into those V-strikes. The weapons can also be used in the countering and follow-up striking to the opponent. With the single weapon, counter and repost, or with the double weapons. I can come out here, or I can continue my attacks just like this after I have countered. In the empty hands, we could do the same exact thing. I can counter and re-deliver attacks with the same hand. And then we can always come into different follow-ups, just like we do with the weapons. Or if I needed to, I can cover with one and start hitting with the other, just like we did with the double sticks. So as you can see, in the art of Kali, it all comes down to the idea of the transference of skill. As you are learning new drills and new skills in your Kali practice with the sticks, with the knives, make sure to use that ingenuity to start playing around with the ideas in that transference of skill. How would those weapon movements transfer to the empty hands? Ingenuity is really important here because there may have to be a slight type of modification in the technique, but the tactic and the strategy stays the same across the, all the areas of Kali. So as a Kali practitioner, go explore your training, explore the knowledge, have fun with it, be creative with it, develop that ingenuity, and you're well on your way to understanding the full spectrum of Kali. If you like this training and want to continue training with me, head over to KaliCenter.com and go check out my online school, my DVD downloads, and if you need any Kali training gear, go check out our online store that we have over there at KaliCenter.com. I have the links in the description below. Head on over there and go grab some of the weaponry, some of the empty hand training materials. We have all different sorts of training materials that's gonna help you in your Kali skill development in your Kali practice. All right guys, I'll see you next time. Make sure to get outside, go make nature be your Kali dojo from time to time, and go practice your transference of skill across all the areas of Kali. I'll see you next time.